Good morning. I'm so happy. Putting on an outfit is so important for me to be productive. When I feel put together, I get more things done. So if you want to be productive, then put on a cute outfit. The goal for today is to be a productive. My hair's looking a little crazy. I'm gonna brush it, but I'm very excited because last night I put coconut oil in it and it looks less frizzy. Like, believe it or not, this is less frizzy. So I'm gonna brush it right now. I'm just like trying to work on my hair and I hope that the coconut oil helps. My skincare is done. My hair is looking a little awkward. I don't know what to do with it. It is pretty much a fact that if my bed isn't made before I leave the room when I come back, I'll get back into it and it's a never ending cycle. I'm going to make my bed because that is something that helps me get a little productive. <laughs> The bed is made. This is my mom's coffee. I just use a dark roast of the Target espresso blend and then I put the Starbucks pumpkin spice and the normal oat milk. Ever since I got this creamer, it is the only thing I use in my coffee. It is so perfect. I use the same Target espresso blend and it makes my coffee so good. I'm gonna put my drink in the Starbucks cup because I love doing that. I drink my coffee I asked you guys to ask me some questions about motivation productivity all of that how do you get out of a funk I think this video is literally how to get out of a funk but actually starting is for me is honestly getting content out if you don't have a YouTube channel make a to-do list but put something on that to-do list that you're gonna look forward to like for me that's coffee you can make like a productive to-do list to get done but like throughout it put little things to kind of reward yourself. From there, you can start learning how to remove those things and just be productive. It's not always gonna be fun and games, you know? And I think when you're getting out of your funk, you kind of have to like trick yourself into doing it. I don't recommend telling yourself it's okay cause like you don't wanna sugarcoat it to yourself because then you're never gonna get things done. Keep your hey. No. <laughs> What'd you get? It's so spicy in my lips. Can you tell or no? But they are burning. Like they feel like they're gonna fall off. We're gonna finish answering the questions in my room. How do I stop procrastinating is the next question. If it's everything overall, then literally make a playlist for every single thing like cleaning, studying, reading, working out. You can be so specific about it too. Studying at home, studying at school, studying with friends. But if it's mainly in school because I find when I'm procrastinating it happens to be more in school than anything. Romanticized school that literally helps me so much. Making everything about school seem so put together. Making my notes cute. Having a nice journal. Writing my notes like really nice for pictures maybe. Like if you like to take pictures then make your things look nice for pictures. Um, even though that's very Gen Z. 
the coffee mixed with the whipped cream look how light it is i don't really want to finish it the next question is how do you stay motivated and like keeping it consistent i don't really have the answer to this i'm always motivated productive like those are two very different things surround yourself with people who care about you and want the best for you you can always be motivated and have the right intentions not all the time you're going to act on that motivation and just find your reason if you want to be productive then have a reason for it because if you don't have a reason then you're not going to be motivated how do you wake up every morning and be positive honestly coffee i wouldn't say i'm positive every morning but i do try my best wake up and just appreciate how do you wake up to your alarms the answer is i don't i literally do not my mom has to come in here and wake me up if i wanted to wake up at five in the morning i would set an alarm for 4 50 4 55 five and then in between i'll also set one for like 4 30 to mentally prepare me but it almost never works but that is all i have for the questions i would have loved to answer more but i don't want this to take up the whole video i don't know what's gonna go on now i finished the seven husbands of Evelyn hugo last night so i need to choose a new book to read and i'm gonna let you guys do that with me actually today's the 16th i ordered it starts with us by colleen hoover and it's arriving tuesday but i feel really shaky which is really weird because I ate. Tell me if you like this like camera angle better or how I usually do it facing that way because I feel like this is... I can honestly say that some of my most productive weeks happen when I take the time to sit down and plan out my whole week. So this is what my spread looks like. I got this planner from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. I like planning out each day, each week versus just putting events on a day of a calendar. Something that's also helped me for planning out my YouTube videos is I'll put it on my phone. Also, if paper planning doesn't work for you, there's apps like Notion, Google Calendar. Can you just use a notes app on your phone? This is my absolute favorite sweater ever. I did my hair because it was bothering me. I'm so happy because I feel so much better about it. But I surprisingly actually have homework today. It's for geometry, so I need to get it done because it was due Friday. So since I didn't go to school, I didn't have to worry about it, but I just like put it to the side. We're going to do some journaling, even though we're going through it. We're going to do some journaling. I have a very specific journal spread that I think is perfect if you're trying to work on your goals and like achieving them. I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to do this little spread. The first thing you're going to put is my goal for five years. Ignore my handwriting. It is literally terrible on the bed, but I'm so much more comfortable. Skip a few lines, however many you think you need. My goal for one year my goal for six months 
my goal for a week a goal i can set for every day and today's goal i think a lot of the times we set super huge goals for ourselves, which is great we kind of just sit there and wait for them to happen i think it's important to set smaller goals that can get you to your big goals I'm going to do my gratitude journal. I'm grateful for what you already have before asking for more, even if you don't receive anything. I just got to shower because I played with the water balloons too. So I got wet and we we're gonna go get Chipotle. I'm so rushed. If you have a smartwatch, take advantage of it because it literally makes me so motivated because I wanna get my steps in. That is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and got a little bit of something out of this. If you stayed all the way to the end, then comment the salad emoji. Um, I love you guys so much.